<laughs> Hello students! Good day! Once again, this is Sir Boyet, your science teacher. And welcome to my channel! If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe now and hit the bell button so that you will be notified to the next video's update. Thank you! Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Important question. How do human being reproduce? You came from your parents. The chicks came from their parent chickens. The palm tree, peanut, bean, and corn came from its parent plant. People, plants, and animals have the ability to reproduce their own offspring. When one or two living things produce their offspring, they are involved in a process called reproduction. Reproduction is an important part of the life of all living things because it ensures the continuity of life. Humans, animals, and plants have one thing in common. They all reproduce. In this topic, you will learn and understand how body parts work to help living things reproduce particularly human being. Every human being possesses a reproductive system. The reproductive system helps him, her, to reproduce another human being. We are product of reproduction. As you watch this video, you will be able to find out and identify the male and female reproductive system and their major parts. You will be able to relate also the structures of a male and female reproductive system to its function in reproduction. Males and females, human beings have observable differences in their body structures. There are also differences in terms of body structures between a young and adult person or the same sex. When you were younger, you may have noticed that your body looks different from your father or mother. Now that you are an adult, you start to notice changes in your body. The human reproductive system have something to do with differences and changes observed between males and females. Males and females have different body structures that enable them to reproduce. The Male Reproductive System The male reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the testes, ducts, accessory glands, and penis. It is specifically responsible for producing sperm cells and hormones. A sperm cell is needed to fertilize an egg cell. Hormones are responsible for the development of adult male characteristics. A male can produce numerous sperm cells. An average man can have approximately 5 million in a single drop of his semen. Out of these millions of sperm cells, only one is needed to fertilize an egg cell. Different parts of the male reproductive system under specific functions. The parts are seminal vesicles, vas deferens, prostate gland, cowper's gland, penis, urethra, epididymis gland, scrotum, and testes. Seminal vesicles. Description and function 
seminal vesicle are sac-like pouches attached to the vast difference or pair of glands found between the bladder and the rectum. It contributes to the semen, semen production, a fructose sugar-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. Vast difference. Description and function. The vast difference is a long muscular tube that serve as the passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes. It also connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. Prostate gland Description and function Prostate gland is a gland located between the bladder and the penis. It produces fluid that neutralizes the acidity of the vagina ensure the survival of the sperm. It aids in sperm fertility. Cowper's gland Description and function Cowper's gland, also called as the bulbo-urethral gland, is one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland. It is responsible for the releasing lubricant fluid that flushes out foreign matters and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. Penis Description and Function Penis is the external male organ composed of spongy erectile tissue which, with a tip called glands. It is covered with foreskin that may be removed through circumcision. Deposit sperm into the vagina. Urethra Description and Function The urethra is a thin, fibromuscular tube that conducts urine and semen from the bladder and ejaculatory ducts to the exterior of the body. In males, it is the passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. Epididymis Description and Function the epididymis is a narrow coiled tube that stores sperm cells and transports it to the testes. Glands Description and Function The rounded head or tip of the penis. The gland's penis is the opening of the urethra. The opening of urethra is a tube to which semen urine exit in the body. Scrotum Description and function. Scrotal sac or scrotum is a pair of pouch-like sacs that contains and holds the testes. It also controls the testes temperature because they must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cells. And the last one is testes. Description and function. Testes, singular testes, typically paired the testes consists of many highly coiled tubes or ducts surrounded by several layers of connective tissue. Found inside the scrotum sac, scrotum produces sperm cells and secretes the male sex hormones androgen and testosterone. Different parts of the male reproductive system. Similar physicals, vast difference, prostate gland, Cowper's gland, penis, urethra, epididymis, glands, scrotum, and testes. Science fact Things that can go wrong with the male reproductive system. Boys may sometimes experience reproductive system problems, including varicocele. This is a varicose vein, an abnormally swollen vein in a network of veins that run from the testicles. Varicose cells commonly develop while a boy is going through puberty. A varicose cell is usually not harmful, although it can damage the testicle or decrease sperm production. Take your son to see his doctor if he is concerned about changes in his testicles. Testicular cancer. 
This is one of the most common cancers in men younger than 40. It occurs when cells in the testicle divide abnormally and form a tumor. Testicular cancer can spread to other parts of the body. But if it's detected early, the cure rate is excellent. Teen boys should be encouraged to learn to perform testicular self-examinations. Inflam inflammation of penis Symptoms Penile inflammation includes redness, itching, swelling, and pain. Malanitis occurs when the glands, the head of the penis, becomes inflamed. Postitis is foreskin inflammation, which is usually due to the yeast or bacterial infection. Inguinal hernia when a portion of the intestines pushes through the, push an abnormal opening or weakening of the abdominal wall and into the groin or scrotum. It is known as inguinal hernia. The hernia may look like a bulge or swelling into the groin area. It can be corrected with surgery. The female reproductive system is made up of organs which include ovaries, fallopian tube, uterus, and vagina. It is specifically responsible for producing egg cells and supporting a developing baby inside the mother's womb. The egg cell is only one-tenth of a millimeter, about the size of the diameter of her strand. Different parts of the female reproductive system under specific functions. Parts Fallopian tube, ovary, uterus, cervix, vagina, and no more. Description and function Fallopian tube. Function The Fallopian tube lead the egg. From the ovary to the uterus. This is also the usual site of fertilization of the egg cell and sperm cell. Female humans have two fallopian tube. It's connecting to an ovary inside the uterus. Ovary Description and function. Ovary is a small flattened elongated organs or both on both sides of the uterus alternately produce the female sex cells, eggs or ova, and secretes the female hormones, estrogen and progesterone. The uterus description and function, also called the womb. The uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen. Once the egg has left the ovary, it can be fertilized and implant itself in the lining of the uterus. The uterus nourish the developing fetus prior to birth. Cervix Description and Function The cervix is located in the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the passage of the baby. The last one is vagina. Description and function. Also called the birth canal. The vagina is a hollow muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vagina opening called vulva. It expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery. Science fact, things that can go wrong with female reproductive system. Girls may sometimes experience reproductive system problems, including endometriosis is an often painful disorder in which tissue similar to the tissue 
that normally lines the inside of your uterus. The endometrium grows outside your uterus. It most commonly involves your ovaries, fallopian tubes, and the tissue lining your pelvis. Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths. It opens a pair during childbearing years, also called myomas. Uterine fibroids are not associated with the increased risk of uterine cancer and almost never develop into cancer. Fibroids range in size from seedling and detectable by the human eye to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. You can have a single fibroid or multiple ones. In extreme cases, multiple fibroids can expand the uterus so much that it reaches the rib cage and can add weight. Gynecologic cancer is any cancer that starts in women's reproductive organs. Five main types of cancer. We have cervical, ovarian, uterine, vaginal, and vulvar. As a group, they are referred to as gynecologic cancer. Next is polycystic ovary syndrome. Polycystic ovary syndrome is a disorder involving infrequent irregular or prolonged menstrual periods and often exceeds male hormone androgen levels. The ovaries develop numerous small collections of fluid called follicles and may fail to regularly release eggs. Now, let us check your understanding. Match column A with column B. Write the letters only before its item.